Now, back to Louisiana Living. And welcome back. I'm here with Carrie Hefner with the LSU Ag Center for this week's In the Garden. We're talking about all the beautiful flowers mm -hmm. and the trees that are blooming. I went for a walk this weekend and uh, just took some pictures. I mean, there's some gorgeous flowering trees around town. Lots of color. There's just uh -huh. something about spring in the deep south. Yeah. And so we're going to talk about one of the trees that are going right now. And it's become one of my favorites. And if you want this in your landscape, uh, this is Grancy Graybeard. Uh, that's the tree out at the zoo, actually. I stopped in earlier this afternoon and took that picture. It's on its way to becoming fully flowered out, uh, but these wonderful uh, racemes or clusters of white, fringy, smoky flowers, however you want to describe them. Looks like it snowed out there. Um, this is a Grancy Graybeard or Fringe Tree. Um, there you go, there's some flowers up close. Um, a great pollinator tree and something to really set off all the other colors going on in a spring uh, landscape. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also called fringe tree. It's a native. Its uh, botanical name is Cyanthus virginicus. And the good news about these is they don't get very huge. So if you have a, a, an area where space is premium and still gets uh, full to part sun or part shade, you could put a fringe tree there and be just fine. 12 to 20 feet tall and as wide and then uh, full sun to partial shade, wide variety of soils, so you can put one just about anywhere when they occur out in uh, their natural habitat. They're usually an understory or an edge species. And they are dioecious, which means there are male trees and female trees typically. The female trees will produce these wonderful olive-like fruit. In fact, they're in the olive family mm -hmm. that wildlife will uh, use and of course the seeds will get dispersed and there's no telling where you'll find one uh, cropping up. Now, natives are becoming more of a thing in gardening and landscaping, and, but they're hard to find in garden centers. So if you want a fringe tree in your garden center, look at this option. This is Chinese fringe tree. This is just a cultivar. It's actually another species, Cyanthus retusus. The flowers are a little more compact. The leaves are a little rounder. The trees are a little more compact, but they load up with these white flowers every spring, just like the native. That picture comes to us from our friends down at Clegg's Nursery uh, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And so uh, think about Chinese fringe tree or the native fringe tree if you would like that wonderful smoky white color in your landscape. So. I think that's the second tree that you showed is similar to the ones we have mm -hmm. by my house. Mm -hmm. And uh, they Could are be. also uh, have the bees, the pollinators, yes. and they're just absolutely beautiful to yep. see the bees going around the, and flying around the tree oh, or buzzing around the tree rather. Yeah, yeah, great pollinator tree. And then it sets off, we talked about wisteria last week, the purple. You can even find wisteria mm -hmm. in white. So there's something else. You just have to be careful with it. It'll get out of hand. But the evergreen wisteria with the dark purple flowers uh, and um, it stays more contained as well. The evergreen whist wisteria does. So lots of options for spring color in the landscape. We got about a minute left. Mm -hmm. Any other announcements? So we're getting the, the kitchen garden up and running at the zoo. We were just talking before coming mm -hmm. back from the break. The zoo really looks great right now. Everything is in bloom. It's spring and uh, we had good crowds over the weekend. So if we have great weather, get out to the zoo, ride the train, ride the boat ride and just take it all in. We've got some wonderful construction going on that uh, uh, we hope we'll open up um, later this summer and we'll have some great exhibits out there. So I may do that this weekend. Yeah, I love go. our zoo. Uh, there you go. All right, you put that in my head. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carrie. And up next on Louisiana Living, find out how Logan's Roadhouse is giving back to our community. That's after the break. Stay with us. Trade names are used by the LSU Ag Center for clarity and information purposes only. Neither commercial endorsement of specific products nor a recommendation to the exclusion of similar products is implied.